To be fair, election day, for the most part, went pretty smoothly. In Los Angeles and a lot of big cities, businesses boarded up their stores in anticipation of possible protests and looting. Stores like Pottery Barn and Tiffany in Beverly Hills. But you know what? I was surprised to see how many smaller businesses assumed people would want to steal from their stores. A lot of these places, I don't think, needed to worry. For example, this pet food store, Tails and Scales, probably did not need to board up. The Bassoon Center in Detroit probably overestimated its popularity. Honey's Honey and Hummels, North America's only honey and hummel store, I think they were just, well, they were being cocky to board up. The owner of Reno, Nevada's SAT workbook store, probably just being paranoid. The Laserdisc and VHS Emporium in Phoenix, Arizona, yeah, probably unnecessary caution. Why would A1 Attack Dogs Training Center think anyone was going to break in? Look at this one. This store selling merch for the 90s hit sitcom Coach starring Craig T. Nelson, board it up. No, not necessary. The iPhone case bedazzler at the Glendale Galleria, come on. And finally, even on Hollywood Boulevard, the people dressed as Elmos thought they would be looted. Yeah, people went overboard.